Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Special number 142, recorded October 26, 2012. Unboxing the Surface RT. It's time for Twit Special number 142. Unboxing the Surface RT. I was smart. I ordered an RT the minute I could, and you know what? Uh, they sold out right away, so uh, it's lucky I got one on day and uh, date. If you uh, go to a Microsoft store... And they have 32 pop-up stores all over the country. I think they have some in stock. And they were handing out earlier this week little vouchers saying, you know, good for one Surface RT. So the way I ordered it, I ordered the minimum configuration for $499, the 32 gigabyte without keyboard. And then uh, as a separate order, I ordered the keyboard. And that's, I think, what this is. It says, do not sell or display this product before October 22nd, 2012. But it's the lighter of the two boxes. So I'm thinking... Mostly it's air. I'm thinking it's a keyboard. Yes, it is. So there is the Surface keyboard. This is the... So there's two covers. The touch cover is uh, essentially a three millimeter thick plastic cover. Uh, this is the type cover. It's 10 bucks more, but it has, a, uh, it has more travel in the keys, if you please. So here's the special vlogger unboxing knife. One must have, apparently, I'm told. Remember the snick that this makes. There's two snicks that you get. One is when the uh, cover, uh, the uh, prop, you know, the little prop for the cover for the surface comes out. The other is the, uh, 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 the snick when the magnets attach. You know, this is nice. It has a trackpad. It actually looks, there's travel to the keys. This is more like a real keyboard. Uh, I was thinking it would just be chiclet keys, but it's actually, um, is there a manual? There it is. <laughs> These days, <laughs> any new product. The GoPro, I just opened the new GoPro Hero 3 Silver, and it, it's, its manual says, go to the website for the manual. This is the manual. This is straight out of Ikea. <laughs> That's it, right there. <laughs> But you know what? Come here, come here, Alex. I know you're dying to touch this because Alex Gumpel is going to be the host of our uh, our uh, Metro show. This is surprising. These feel like these feel like real keys. Yeah, they move. Nice. They have travel. Yeah, that's what uh, J Paul Thorat was saying yesterday. But I didn't. Yeah. And then there's an actual, yeah. and you can click the trackpad. Yeah, right and left click. Yeah. Nice. No charms key, but there is. Oh yes, there is a charms key. Look at that. There's the charms key. Well, it's got all the charms. It's got all the charms. What is this thing? Devices and then settings and charms. And then there's a search key. So that is, you're right, all the charms key on the function keys. All right, so that's my, and ooh, 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 high quality felt. The, uh, what do they call it? Um, what do they call that? It's not magnesium. Tech, um, polar tech. Polar tech. It's a polar tech. That's right, which is what they make fleeces out of. Yeah. So um, the surface will never get cold. All right, now we've got to the uh, meat of the matter, the Surface. And there's the invoice. Surface WinRT, 32 gigabytes. All right. Date purchased, 1016. Here's the box. And one of the reasons I like to buy these is because it, I wasn't clear when Paul Thorat was showing us his kit, whether it was a special journalist kit or the retail box. And so this is the full retail. I bought it at the Microsoft Store box. Uh, Surface RT, 32 gigabytes, system requirements. There you go. And now there's a little tab here to untape it. That's all it took. Oh, says Surface again. I think Microsoft was smart to reuse the Surface trademark. Of course, they own that for the big table, that, which has been renamed. But I think that's actually a good name for a, uh, a touch device, Surface. Remove that tape, and there she blows. Ooh, it's kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty. It was hard to tell with uh, Paul. 
So it has its own kind of version of the MagSafe connector. There's the four, it's magnetic, and the four uh, touch points. And uh, there's the uh, the brick. It is not USB. Um, the benefit of that is that it charges really fast. It's a faster charger, says uh, Alex. It charges up to 50% in, in an hour or something. 50% in an hour. That's good to know. Yeah, because now it's going to come partially charged, but uh, I noticed that Paul ran out of um, juice pretty quickly. And uh, here's, again, the... The mini manual that's requisite with all consumer devices these days. And <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty IKEA. <laughs> One, hardware setup. Chick. Two, software setup. Press the on button. <laughs> get around Windows RT. Slide your finger and get around surface. And it just shows us what all these are. I'm gonna keep that open so we can get a tour of the connectors on the side. There's the magnesium back panel, and that's very nice. It's a it's a very soft metal black camera. Um, is there plastic on here? Yeah, there is. Let me peel this off. Well, maybe not. Gosh, I'd hate to peel off something important. Maybe that's not. It's just a bezel. All right. Um, with touch, swipe in from any edge, and if you're using trackpad, move your pointer into any corner to get around Windows RT. It feels like there is some... I don't want if there is plastic on it. I don't want to uh, leave it on. What do you think? You don't? I, no, I don't think it's coated, and I can't tell if that's an edge or there's plastic on it. I think that that's just the edge. All right, you ready? There's the new uh, Windows logo, the new Microsoft logo. Actually, before I turn it around, uh, turn it on. Let's uh, first of all, sixteen nine. So that's an obvious difference. Yeah, let me show you. Let me, Frazier's here. Let me show you the uh, iPad aspect ratio compared to Surface. So you can see it's it's a little, iPad is 4.3. It's a little bit uh, smaller horizontally and a little bit taller vertically. Yeah, that's the manual. Thank you. So here's the power button. HD video out. That's uh, using what looks like a micro USB connector. I wonder if this it's is proprietary. it's proprietary. Okay, is it MHL? Do you know? We don't know. That's a standard USB jack. There's the charging port. I think I turned it on by accident. I heard it bong. Uh, this is a headphone jack, and then the volume rockers. Speaker port there, and speaker port here for stereo. Here's the snickety snick. Uh, Oh yeah, it, they're actually little. There's a little indent on the side for opening that stand up. That's nice. You want to do that again here? <laughs> you know, it didn't. It doesn't really make any special sound. It's and this is. This doesn't feel like magnesium. Maybe it is. It feels like plastic. No, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, I guess it is. Mag. Yeah, it's vapor. That new vapor mag. All right. Um, let's hit the on button and see what happens. Hello, Surface. I like that typeface. I, I don't know what they're using. Sego? S-E-E-G-O. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's a nice typeface. That's the Zoom typeface, says Alex. Alex is the expert. You should get a mic here, Alex. I'll just give you notes from across the room. S-E-G-O-E. All right. First boot, of course, is going to be a little slower than the regular boot. Hey, while we're doing that, let's, let me uh, do, the, do the attachment here. So this has a little connector. Oh, yeah, that really does. That's Oh, that's a, you know what? That's a pretty solid fit. And it does, in fact, support the uh, surface. So let's just put this uh, keyboard. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, a, I'm a lefty. I don't, okay, there we go. So this, this moves the mouse. No, I guess not. All right, pick the language you want to see and use most on this computer. English. Here, I'll tilt it back for you a little bit. Uh, and, of course, uh, unfortunately, I feel obligated to read uh, the uh, license. So we'll just start at the beginning. And uh, thank you for choosing a computer pre-installed with Windows RT. This is a license agreement between you and the computer manufacturer that distributes the Windows RT software with the computer. By accepting this agreement or using the software, you would agree, et cetera, et cetera. Can I transfer the software to another user? You may transfer the software directly to another user only with a licensed computer if the other party first agrees that this agreement applies to the transfer and use of the software. 
Transfer must include per proof of purchase. How does internet activation work? This is the first time you connect to the internet while using the software. The software will automatically connect Microsoft to confirm the software is genuine and the license is associated with the licensed computer. This is called activation. Because activation is meant to identify unauthorized changes to the licensing or activation functions of the software, <clears throat> you may not bypass or circumvent activation. Hmm. All right, well, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to do what everybody else does. That was enough. <laughs> now, first we're going to personalize it. So let's name this, and I'm going to call it uh, L. Oh, keyboard's not working. Do I have to tap that? Ah, I wonder if it'll work now. L, no. Apparently I have to, uh, L-E-O's, maybe, uh, maybe until activate. You can use any name you want as long as you don't use any special characters. I never understood that. I guess that's for networking purposes. Now I'm going to join uh, Twit Production. So if you could cut away for a moment, I'm going to enter in the password. All clear. 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 Thank you. <laughs> not not that it really matters. You'd have to be sitting in here, but we want to keep our production um, network for production purposes only, uh, for obvious reasons. We don't. And there we go. Now it shows. Uh, don't don't yeah. show that, but it shows the. It's interesting uh, that it doesn't block that out. Well, I can't hide the characters. Oh, okay, I we're see. done. I see. Now this is the Express settings. There you go. And this is where, by the way, Internet Explorer 10 is getting a little bit trouble because Express settings on IE 10. And I'm going to look this carefully to see if this includes IE 10. But IE 10 will automatically turn on Do Not Track. Help protect. Yeah. This. Okay. So there it is. So these are Express settings for what looks like Surface, but it says specifically. Turn on Do Not Track in Internet Explorer. So this is where you'll be saying, turn on Do Not Track. And this was very, the, you are telling it, you are telling it if you, if you read this. So the key is to read it. It will also help protect my PC from unsafe files and websites, improve Microsoft service by sending us info. It's not very granular. So if I didn't want to turn on Do Not Track, I guess I can go back into the settings. I don't know. Check online. Ah, right. Check online. We probably should. Should we do customize, kids? A check online for solutions. You know, I'm, I'm, all right, let's customize. So here we go. If this, do you want to turn on sharing between PCs and connected devices? Yes, I think I'll turn on sharing for home or work networks. Turn on Windows smart screen filter. To, no, I don't want to. All right, I'll leave it on. Turn on Internet Explorer smart screen, check URLs and, yeah, yeah, right. This is do not track here. So I want to turn that off because I don't actually mind that. Help improve Windows by sending URLs for web content that apps use. No. Oh, that was oh, that's off by default. That's good. That's good. Help Microsoft respond to malicious apps by joining the Active Protection Service. Yes, it sounds like the military. I, I believe in that. <laughs> Help improve Microsoft services sending some location data when location-aware apps are used. I. I probably want to do that, right? Because I'll get location data. Participate in the customer. I always say yes to that because I'm a I'm a good citizen, a good a good corporate citizen. Help improve Windows help by sending info to the help experience. You know, I don't know what any of that means. Check online for solutions to problems on. Use Internet Explorer compatibility on. Share info with apps, yes. Turn on Windows location platform, yes. But you can't turn these off. This is all in the uh, custom settings. All right, we're all good here. Saving those settings. Now I can sign into my PC. Now, if you'll hide this again, because I'm going to okay. use All right, my... Um, this is where you use your live account. Yeah. And the nice thing about this is, because I've already set up my live account for Windows Phone, by, by using this, all of the data that I already attached, things like my Facebook and Twitter, will already be uh, in there, which is great. So it's now checking for a Microsoft account. Oh, but I changed the password. Uh-oh. Dumb me. Hold on a second. I have to log in over here and see what the heck my password is. Fortunately, I use LastPass. It's one of the things, you know, somebody was asking me, well, what's wrong with, like, Chromebook or, or a device like this? What apps could you possibly use that you and, – and LastPass is a really good example of an app that I do use all the time that won't work on either a Chromebook. LastPass is now available on the Windows Store. And it is on the Windows Store? Awesome. Yep. Big plus – and so is Andrew. There, there. Oh my God! This is a very complicated password. Holy cow! I wish this keyboard worked. Is there a button or something I have to flip? 
Shouldn't it just yeah, work? Well, yeah. Well, we did it. It just worked. Ah. I, no. Huh. Chat room at home? Any any way to get this key? Is it not? It's attached, it's obviously. Attached. Boy, it's attached. There's no... That is attached. Um, <laughs> no, that's all right. I'll do it by hand. But it's a little frustrating. That oh, 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 you know what? It now is working. The on-screen keyboard just disappeared. I think it's working. Yes. Excellent. Yay. So it apparently just took a while to sense it, maybe. Oh. Maybe it's, is it Bluetooth? And it's a good thing I have it because this is a ridiculous uh, last pass, 12 character generated password using all the special character sets, which means it's completely illegible. Let's see if that worked. Yep. All right. So now I'm now it says creating account. We're going to hurry through in? this because I think we're running out of time. It's a little bit after one, and I know you want the social hour to get started. So let's just – I just want to do a couple of things. One is launch Office so we can see what the desktop looks like. Uh, just do a quick uh, step around. And while we're getting things ready, uh, this is the mini movie that Paul and uh, Mary Jo thought – so check out the new way to use Windows and just like that. They're very IKEA now. After your PC is ready, swipe in from any edge. <laughs> Not now. Not now. After your PC is ready. I'm, I'm impatient. Okay, I got it. Like that. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Thank you. Move your mouse into any corner. Okay. This is this is the same thing in the manual. But they really want you to know that. And this is one of the things people have complained about with Windows 8 is kind of its lack of discoverability. But once you know these things, uh, you know, it becomes second nature. It's just new. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Let's, while it's doing that, oh, I don't want to close it because it'll, but it's going to be nice with the Polar Tech. It's going to be nice, uh, Nice, nice carryable cover. It, 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 it doesn't close with a magnet, I don't think. I think it just... No, that's what Paul and Mary Jo were saying. But I have to say, it really is attached to the bottom. And it's a, it's much stronger than the smart cover on the iPad. Um, and now, we also were questioning whether it would be sensible to type uh, in your lap. And I don't, th I don't think so. Um, but if you're going to do that, you probably use the on-screen keyboard. But this is, this is very usable. This feels pretty good. So you could also do this and then put that on your lap as long as your knees don't type anything. I guess, can you just say, when you flip it around, it disables it. So it knows enough to know. I love it that you actually have a trackpad. This is actually pretty sweet for four ninety nine. I'm liking it. The issue, the other issue, of course, and the, what number of people have said, including Joanna Stern, is going to be on Twit on Sunday, is that the hardware impresses, but the lack of software doesn't. Now, that's premature because I think that there are already, as of yesterday, a thousand new apps in there. You just mentioned uh, Alex Gumpel that LastPass is now in there and Angry Birds are in there. So I think you're going to quickly see apps added to this store. The key is also that it's Windows RT. And that means that developers will develop for Windows and get kind of as a, as a bonus if they do a Metro app. Frazier thinks that Android's apps will start up here. They did say there'd be Android app uh, compatibility. So apparently there's a way to port Android apps over. Yeah. Yeah, because, of course, all the Android apps are owned by other people. I'm not sure ported apps are really the way to go. I think you, you really want native apps. So this is a longer process than I remember with, uh, with Paul. Sorry, Sarah. I'll wrap this up as quick as I can. Um, do you want to start and come back to me? I don't know. I don't really know how long this takes. Oh, we're here. So it's almost done. So now we're going to start. And you see, because I signed into my uh, my my uh, account, it is already personalized. There's Clayton Moore. Um, there's me. 
Uh, it thinks I'm in London, but you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe the location hasn't uh, hasn't really happened yet. Um, and we got Word, we got Excel. Now, when you launch Word, it automatically goes right into the desktop. So this is very Windows uh, like. I mean, you've got the taskbar. Yeah, this is totally Windows like, but it's touch enabled, which is great. Um, let's just open this now. Yeah, I can double tap. That's cool. Uh, wow. Oh, I typed there. Let's type here. It's a little sluggish in the typing. It's not. Uh, it's not quite Direct Drive. Here's Excel. Now, notice they're calling a preview, which. So Alex said that because. This will get updated. This will get updated. So you're getting a preview now because it, it just RTM just minutes ago. And so, yeah, so you'll be, I think OneNote on this might be a really killer app. Uh, I'm very excited about this. So um, there you have it. Um, let's run Internet Explorer. Uh, we already tried live.twit.tv and found out that that apparently does not work. Um, on uh, Metro. Well, I'm on the desktop, aren't I? So let's try it, shall we? It's a little disconcerting to see that keyboard move like that as I type, but I guess we'll get used to that. At least there's some travel on the key. And yeah, it does it does want Adobe uh, flat. Whoop, whoop. Uh, whoop, whoop. No, I think I, it, uh, it's launching. Hey, there we go. Hey, we're happy. Let's go full screen. <laughs> that is good news from uh, my point of view. It's the infinity surface. It actually right looks quite good. All right, so there you have it. Um, this is the uh, Surface RT, 32 gigabyte. It's still playing. So shut up. I'm I'm working here. We'll have a lot more, of course, uh, as time goes by. And we're also planning a show called uh, Turning the Tiles uh, with uh, Alex Gumpel and I as Actar that will cover this uh, platform, not just the uh, Windows RT platform, but also Metro on the desktop and Windows Phone uh, 8. Thanks for joining me for the unboxing. I, I feel kind of, I kind of like this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I kind of, you might see me walking around like this more often. But... Now, it's time for the social hour, which is not already in progress. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Andrew.